Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so um, today I'm going to be doing a haul video. <laughs> I don't do haul videos often. Um, and I love watching haul videos, but I don't do them often because I just, I just don't. I don't know why I don't, I just don't. Because a lot of times I'll buy makeup that I see like other um, people that I follow on my social media platforms are getting or I'll see like new collections coming out and I'll get really excited and I'll get the product and then I won't open the package for a while um, the hype the buzz the excitement about it is long past gone not that that influences anything but by the time you know I get around to going through the stuff that I've purchased during the last couple weeks couple months um, you know it's just like you guys may not be able to get those same items okay so my haul videos are not um, as up to date with the trends that would give you guys enough time to say go out and get the same thing does that make sense so that's why I don't really do haul videos um, because by the time I get around the stuff it's just some of the stuff you're not gonna be able to get but I'm going to go ahead and do the haul anyway so let me get a few things together that I want to share with you guys and some semblance of order I'm gonna try hopefully not to have this um, too long of a video uh, so I may have to do um, I might just do two parts I might do part one uh, you guys know my non tutorial videos come out on Wednesdays if um, I have a video on Wednesday that comes out it's not a tutorial it's something else whatever that is it's either one of my kitchen cosmetology videos it's a haul it's something that's not a tutorial okay just just so we're clear on that so let me get a couple things together so that I'm hoping it will not <laughs> go over 15 minutes um, I'm gonna cut it off regardless okay unless it's just something I want to just throw in I mean yeah let me stop rambling so I can spend time showing you guys what um, some of the things I've gotten in the last few months okay so the first thing I want to talk about and this is probably the most important thing um, that I want and it's makeup related it's um, lashes <laughs> I had a brain brain fart for a moment uh, so anyway they're lashes and they're from Thrive Cosmetics and this is a little card from Thrive Cosmetics it says joy is the best makeup joy is the best makeup and uh, Thrive Cosmetics, it says, thank you for joining our Get to Give mission. For every product purchased, one is donated to a woman going through cancer treatment. Um, show us how you thrive. You can take a picture of yourself uh, with the other side of this card and post the photos with the hashtag blah, blah, blah on it. I came across this company on Instagram. And you guys know uh, breast cancer has affected my family. I think it's just um, in a very significant way. Right now, my um, mom's youngest sister is dealing with breast cancer right now and she's probably closest in age to me because um, we're like six years apart but I got to spend some time with her a couple times this year so far um, and once before her diagnosis and then I got to spend some time with her after her diagnosis as well so uh, just keep her up in prayer uh, her name my, my aunt's name is BB um, just keep her up in prayer for me if you guys don't mind for those of you that believe in prayer but so I ordered a pair of lashes and the lashes I got are the Robin lashes and let me show them to you these are the Robin lashes okay and I also got the glue the um, adhesive glue that comes that comes with it um, the adhesive is waterproof free of latex sulfates and parabens which is good for women who have cancer and their lashes come off um, and it's, it's not going to irritate them if you put it on with this uh, lash adhesive so these are the two two things that I got from there and if you guys um, the lashes cost I want to say I don't want to give a price point but you know what it's not that bad and when you buy a pair of lashes it's gonna go to a woman that is dealing with cancer right now and I just think it's a win-win situation so please check them out if you guys haven't already heard about them please check them out and at least um, commit to give buy at least one pair of lashes this year that would be awesome and uh, you would really be doing a woman that's that's dealing with this a favor because it's so important to feel beautiful feel loved and feel as as feel as close to being yourself as possible while you're going through something that is so serious so I just thought that was um, amazing amazing um, 
gift on their part to be able to do that, to buy one and give one. So please make sure you check out Thrive. Okay, so the next few products I'm gonna talk about are highlighters that I have recently purchased. Um, yeah, like I'm highlighted to ridiculousness today, but I absolutely love it. Love, absolutely love it, okay? So the first, and I haven't tried this one, okay? But you know Kim K's, one of Kim K's makeup artists, Mario, I'm not even gonna try to say his last name because I don't wanna disrespect him like that. <laughs> Okay, okay, but I ordered the um, I Am Glam, uh, I, I Am Glam highlighter, I ordered the I Am Glam highlighter, and they even sent, let me see, so they sent, I ordered the I Am Glam, and then they sent a little sample of M Glam, I don't know if it's the same thing, um, I think it's a little bit different, and um, I'm not sure a swatch would show up. But, um, you know, I haven't opened this. That's, that's what I'm telling you. My makeup game as of late, I've been really just so busy and, and not, you know, like I'll get stuff, I'll see it, and then it'll take me a couple weeks to even open it. Um, I've done a little better with this one because I've just, I've just recently ordered this one. But anyway, so um, this is the case. And let me see if I can swatch a little bit. I hope it shows up because it's like, I, heard, I first heard about this months ago when I first started watching years ago, a couple years ago, Little Pumpkin Pie 05, Jackie O. Um, let me swatch. Ooh, I know I did not. Ooh, hold on. Okay, disaster averted. <laughs> Kinda. Okay, so here's what it looks like. How freaking pretty is that? That is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna leave this right here because it has, it, can, it doesn't look gold in the jar, okay? But on my skin, you, you, you can see that. It just, it is so freaking pretty. Okay, let's keep it in the family of highlighters. And the next highlighter that I got is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I saw Iris Spillane do her do a haul video I think she had a Sephora haul video and I had been looking at these Becca highlighters for a minute and I just was like oh I have enough highlighters I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it and she um, uh, swatched a uh, topaz I think it was topaz on her so I go into Ulta okay if y'all follow me on Instagram I know what happened that day and oh I am having the drop seats today oh well okay and I got this one this is opal Okay, let me swatch opal. And I'm gonna put opal beside. Y'all see that? That's the I M Glam, and this is the opal. They're different. The um, opal from Becca Cosmetics is more of a pearl esque undertone and the I Am Glam is more of a golden bronzy undertone so they're completely different but just I know I've worn the Becca when I've not worn the I Am Glam but the Becca Opal oh my goodness I'm wearing it today right at the highest point of my cheekbone oh I just it is it is beautiful um, you know, I just want to just lay my face in it. That's how ridiculous. I, you know, you know me. I overdo blush and I overdo highlight. That's just my thing. I love that. You know, y'all do whatever you feel comfortable with. Y'all know that. And then I had, I think I had one more highlighter. I think I have one more highlighter. Let me just check really quick before I move on away from this. Okay, so I couldn't find it. So, moving on. Um, you know, Matt came out with the uh, Toledo collection about a couple weeks ago. I think it came out with that's the latest collection release. Uh, I have some MAC things and what I might do, you know what, honestly, I think I might do a MAC haul. I'm thinking I might do a MAC haul and just keep it separate. I don't know. Let me think about it for a second. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so from the collection, I got three lipsticks, one lip gloss, two of the same lip gloss, and one blush. 
Um, of the lipsticks I got started off with, I got the um, Ox Glow. Oh, no. Mm -mm. What, did I, what did I say? Barbecue. That was the first one. <laughs> okay, so barbecue. Okay, my camera's being real rude today. Cut off on me. Anyway, so I was going to swatch barbecue. So that's what barbecue looks like. I, um, I saw on Dupe That that... Oh, goodness. What was the other one? MAC has another reddish-orange lipstick. It's not in Mirage. It's another one. I can't I can't think of the name of it. But if you guys are ever like you want something that's a limited edition but you can't find it anymore, try uh, looking up Googling dupes of that and sometimes you'll get a hit. Okay, so the next lipstick I got was Victorian. Victoriana. This is a nice reddish, I think blue base red. And that's what that looks like. This is really, really pretty. And then I got Oxblood. So, Oxblood on Dupe That, and I follow them on Instagram, Oxblood said that kinda sexy is a dupe for Oxblood. Okay, so here's Oxblood. That's Oxblood. Y'all can see that. And let me get the kinda sexy. Sorry for that dead space right there. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of sexy from MAC. This is kind of sexy. I'm going to put it right next to the Oxblood. Look at that. Crazy, right? It is almost, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. I think that the Oxblood is just a tad bit cooler than the kind of sexy kind of sexy is a little warmer but you could certainly get away with it if you couldn't get your hands on the oxblood you can get kind of sexy and still be uh, fairly okay um, which I thought was really interesting there are they are a little different they're not the exact same um, so there you have it on that I also got the oxblood lip gloss uh, yeah lip gloss I'm going to, um, I got two of these. I'm going to give one of these in a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway at some point. And I'm going to give one of those away in a giveaway. And the last thing I got from the collection was the blush called Ripe Peach. Oh, this is so pretty. Um, let me swatch this. It probably won't show up. Can y'all even see that? No, it's not even showing up, but it's really pretty. Um, and that's all I got from the Toledo collection. That's all I'm gonna do for MAC, and I'm going to do one more brand for you guys. Okay, so the last brand I'm gonna talk about is uh, Melt Cosmetics. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure, unless you have been living under a beauty rock, so to speak, um, <laughs> in the last year, beginning of this year, you all heard that Melt Cosmetics was coming out with eyeshadows. You know, they are very much well known for their lipsticks. Um, DGAF, um, Dark Room, um, Space, Space Cake, a few other ones. Summer, my absolute favorite. Um, but anyway, they came up with their own shadows. And I did not initially get the shadows. I was debating because, like I said to you guys before, I will buy stuff, I'll put it in the corner, and I will not take it out for weeks at a time. And I'm getting better with that. So I have put myself on very strict and limited uh, makeup buys. <laughs> um, for the most part, I, I stick to it. It has to be something that, you know, really, really grabs my attention. Like the Becca um, Opal uh, highlighter and the Melt Cosmetics um, eyeshadows. So I got the um, Love Six Stack. And let me just say, let me just say, hold on a second. Let me just say that when Melt Cosmetics came out with lipsticks, okay, and they're still a new company. I think they've been in existence for like a year, maybe. Maybe a year, maybe a year plus, I'm not sure. When your package came in the mail, it was in a white box, okay? Not anymore. Not anymore. Now, Melt comes in a little black box. I see you guys. I see you. I see you guys. Okay, so I was like, 
I didn't know what it was. I was like, what's that? My husband had the box and the mail came. I was like, what? I said, okay, Mel, I see you. Um, you know, got the card on the inside with two, the, um, both of the um, founders of the company. And um, the same green paper insert. And the little uh, stacks come in a little box. And uh, let me see. So, stack comes like this. They're magnetic. Okay. Magnetic. So, Love Sick comes in four colors. First color you have is, well, first you have a little mirror on the top. Okay. Then, Promiscuous, which is purple. I'm going to swatch them, so don't, don't worry. Um, fixated, which is like a smoky gray. Amelia, which I use today. And Love Sick, which I use today. Okay, so let's swatch Amelia first. Amelia is the purple. I'm just gonna put these on my, my, my finger, okay? Amelia, that, like that, purple. Really pretty, color payoff. Um, these shadows are a little bit bigger than the MAC shadows. That's the comparison. So melt and a MAC shadow. Clearly you can fit the MAC shadow inside the melt. That's it rolling around in there. So it's bigger than a MAC shadow. And a little smaller than a MAC blush. Just a little smaller than your MAC blush. So you're getting a pretty good amount of product for the price okay so that was promiscuous next is fixated which is the smoke gray that is the fixated I'm gonna have to think of a look to do with this one because this is just gorgeous and it's not a color that I normally wear so um, I'm gonna try to come up with something to use this one okay Amelia was fairly easy for me to use because this is my my color, my go-to, this is my color range, my comfort range. So Amelia or Emily. Emily, I think. Emily, Amelia, Emily. I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But that's what it looks like on my middle finger. I have that on right now. I'm going to go give an up-close personal look with the look today. And then I have Lovesick on. That's Lovesick. Okay, so let me zoom in really quick so you can see my face and I'm going to show you where I've used the products today. Okay, you guys, I had to um, take off some of that shine. <laughs> okay, so um, on my eyelid, the lids, I have, a, is it Amelia or Emily? I'm not sure. Emily? It looks like Emily or Amelie. So that's what I have on the lid. And then I have Love Sick right here. So Amelie or Amelie, Emily, Amelie here love stick here and blend it over into the crease and i also have love stick coming around underneath the lower lash line also i thought what would um amelie look like as a blush so it's also my blush and i have the becca opal on top of it how gorgeous is that combination Oh my goodness, so you can even use the Amelie as a blush. You can use Lovesick as a blush too, but I'll be very, very careful because you can overdo it really quick um, because the color is so pigmented and so um, deep. You know, but you could if it was like a fall look. But you know, you can do what you want to do. Okay, okay. So yeah, so this is the Amelie and then the Opal is blended on top of it. So Amelie on the lid, um, Lovesick in the corner. Loves it coming around, and I also have Amelie in the inner tear duct area. So this was a look I came up with today using the Love Sick Eyeshadow Stack from Mel Cosmetics. Okay, you guys, so that's it. That's it for the haul. That's all I'm going to go into. I have so many MAC products that I've gotten over the last few weeks, last few months, that it would just be an extremely long haul for me to go over each and every one of those. I don't remember some of the collections that some of the lipsticks came out with. Um, I might do another individual MAC haul. I'm not sure. Only because I don't remember which uh, release that they came out with, some of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even know if it would be worth y'all's time to even do it. So I'm probably going to hold off on that. But 
those things that I did share with you are still available. Um, the Toledo, like I said, you might be able to get it off of Nordstrom's website. You might be able to get it in some of the MAC standing uh, free counters or some of the counters in some of the department stores uh, if you're interested. Uh, the Love Sick Melt Cosmetics, you can still get that. That's available. Thrive, um, the eyeshadow of the lashes, false lashes are available. <laughs> And the Becca Opal is definitely available. I am glam is available, okay? So make sure you guys go check those out. I so appreciate each and every one of you. Before I forget, this is my hair. Y'all know I normally either wear curly clips in or I have a Curl Genetics U-Part wig that I will put on as a protective style. My hair is out and about this weekend. This is all, um, this is all me. Uh, so no, I don't have any, um, tracks or whatever I don't have any I'm not protective styling right now I know some of you might say why why do you wear the other hair when your hair is just like that because I want to um yeah but yeah that's it that's all I got I hope you guys are having a wonderful week I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend hopefully I will see you in the next video bye